Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Thursday, September 12th, 2024. Welcome back to yet another vlog, guys. Don't mind the background noise if you hear some weird noise, just my coffee making in the background. It is about 7.31 a.m. We just got off work about 30 minutes ago. What we do have planned for today's vlog is just some day training because we do work again at 7 p.m. So that being said, there will be no gym portion in this vlog, just a day training vlog. So hope you guys do enjoy today's vlog. I'm about to go ahead and hop on the PC right now. Get all my levels marked out, get the full analysis out to the Discord, and actually, hopefully, I can actually finish editing this video on my PC before market opens. We shouldn't have a problem doing that. Getting that uploaded to YouTube um, and having that ready by 4 p.m. tonight. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated once I do get all these levels marked out and get the full analysis out to the Discord. All right, you guys, it is about 9.05 a.m. right now. Went ahead and actually got that YouTube video finished editing got it rendered it's up it actually is probably uploaded to youtube right now so we're good to go for 4 p.m for that video but that's besides the point i also went ahead and got all my levels marked out I got the full analysis out to the discord and stuff like that so i'm gonna go over the levels with you guys very quickly here i'm just gonna skim over them real quick just so you guys can see what levels i have marked out for the day and as i do pick up the recording later in the vlog you guys can see how price actually does respect these key levels um, my strategy in a long story short type of thing is I'm really playing um, key support or sorry support resistance supply demand zone so all these green white boxes and you know lines you see on my charts are all those key levels I also use VWAP and price action within the market as we're trading throughout the day to determine my trades and stuff like that so I play five main stocks which as you guys can see here is QQ, SPY, IWM, AMD and NVIDIA so let's start out here on QQQ. You guys can honestly pause the YouTube video if you'd like to see all the levels and stuff like that. Next we have SPY. Oops. Next we do have IWM here. Next we have AMD. And then last but not least, we have NVIDIA guys. So that's everything I've got for y'all right now on the chart, stuff like that. I'll just go in and drag over my Discord, which actually is a private Discord, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of an overview of the discord i'm not going to go over every single thing that's included in the discord in detail um i'm just kind of kind of going to go over the main things very briefly here which is a pre-market analysis on everything i'm watching for today those five stocks like i said if i am watching any other stocks for the day i'll put my updates in options chat stuff like that as i'm trading throughout the day i always give updates on strike presses i'm watching um you know what i'm watching as we approach each key level and stuff like that if people would like and members would like i also am open to joining a live trading vc and trading live with y'all throughout the day i'm giving out education in this discord that's honestly one of the biggest parts of the discord is the education part because that's part of the reason i started this discord was to educate traders i love trading and that's why i love to educate new people about trading and getting them pointed in the right direction stuff like that so if you guys know absolutely nothing about trading and would like to get into it and would like to get started don't feel scared to join the discord and ask me as literally many questions as you want because that's what i'm here for but yeah i'm not going to go over the discord uh in too much detail i'll leave the link for the discord in the youtube description below if you guys are interested go ahead and check that out but yes yeah, everything i got for you guys right now we have about 22 minutes till market opens i'm honestly absolutely exhausted for some reason um hopefully i will catch a trade the first hour and a half of market open actually about an hour bro that's all we really have and then i have to go to bed and make sure i at least get like six six and a half hours of sleep before we do work again tonight like i said i'm absolutely exhausted i'm about to slam down my last cup i've literally had this one about my third cup of coffee and i'm still exhausted it's probably honest, probably honestly not even worth drinking but we're about to go ahead and slam that down and then as always i'll keep you guys updated before i go to bed all right, y'all, it is about 9.51 a.m. as you can see. I took a very, very stupid trade on AMD that I actually even journaled down and was telling myself that I was going to go in with a lighter position size on. So I went in with half my normal position size only because I didn't have as high confidence in this trade and stuff like that. And I knew it was going to be a lot more riskier trade. So basically what I saw here on AMD, and now more that I look back at it, it I feel like more of an idiot. I saw us trying to attempt to hold this key support in a man zone. 
as you can see on higher time frames this is the 15 minute chart but on the 15 minute time frame we close that first 15 minute candle very are bearish coming to that very long top wick right below vwap stuff like that knowing that um i automatically should have stayed away from calls but with us attempting to get that hold of this level here i got an entry right around vwap which we really closed zero bullish you know valid candles around to tell me to um get into calls we also had this supply and demand zone right above pretty low risk reward trade i think i actually might try to play the opposite way on amd here if i can get an entry around vwap that's only if we get an entry around vwap especially since we took that loss it was a very small loss because like i said i went in with half my normal position size we're probably not even down yeah we're not even down a percent on the account right now we're down 0 0.80 percent so i don't know i might try to get one more trade in before we go to bed but that was honestly a very stupid trade even though i did have the discipline to size down and i knew this was a riskier trade we honestly should have just completely avoided this trade overall just because of how bad of a setup it was and stuff like that unfortunate journaled it all down um you know we had no indication of moving higher this was honestly i feel like an idiot for even taking that trade just ruins our win rate and stuff like that it's honestly not even worth taking any trade on and stuff like that but yeah man i'm gonna go ahead and honestly brush my teeth and get ready for bed gonna honestly probably call it a day here but if I don't, I'll probably update you guys whenever I wake up for work. See, we're already getting back above VWAP on AMD here. Just like a lot of choppiness going on and stuff like that. Within the overall market, can't really choose a direction. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just like, if we go to the higher time frames on everything, bro, it's just like a lot of like indecision, bro. Just like, like here's QQQ for y'all. I mean, if you just look at the higher time frames, bro, it's just like a lot of long wait candles, bro, which I hate trading in. Market can't choose a direction. So if we continue to trade like this before I go to bed and I don't see any opportunities, then yeah, for sure go to bed. Um, but yeah, keep you guys updated. Unfortunately, I just fucking blew it all, but it's all right, man. I'm really tired. I'm just going to get some rest. I'll update you guys once we do wake up. All right, yo, this is how we're going to end the vlog, man. It is about 9.23 p.m. I didn't get to give you guys an update before I left work. Left for work, sorry, and I woke up. But yeah, man, unfortunately, we ended the day red today. Um, all I really can say is that we're back at it tomorrow, and hopefully we can end this week strong tomorrow. Um, I woke up from, you know, sorry, I phrased that wrong. I woke up after I went to sleep, and I was pissed. I was honestly really mad at myself because, like, as of recently, I feel like I've just found myself a lot taking the easy way out of things and not doing what I know I have to do which usually sucks and that's why I don't do it um, and if I continue to take the easy way out and don't really get disciplined and really and don't give it hundred percent every single day I will literally never get to where I want to be and I'm honestly sick of where I am in life and I'm ready to change my life and one of my biggest goals for next year is to honestly get my own place. I would love to have my own place. It's really one of my biggest goals for next year. Just wanted to throw that out there. I can speak on this a lot more, but I'm not going to bore you guys. That is actually going to be it for the vlog, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, we're at 500 subs by the time you're viewing this. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the recent videos, on the channel, on everything, guys. Regardless, I'm going to still vlog every single day, and we're going to be uploading a vlog every single day. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.